Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. This video we're talking about the LX570 and the new rack system that I have up here. Crushing it today. This is like my third video that I'm filming today. I am tired. Obviously I'm not uploading them all at the same time, but if you've been following along the LX570 at all, this is my 2008 LX570. It's got 145,000 or so miles on it, wrapped in Java Brown, running a roughly 34 inch Toyo AT3 tire on here. No suspension lift at all. A lot of people apparently, at least in the comments anyway, hate the look of big tires with not much lift. I love it. The lower, the better. Though I may bump it up just, just a little bit, probably putting some coil uh, spacers in. This is an AHC system. I can talk more on that later, but I did a whole video on why I love the LX570 so much. I'll link it in the corner right now. You can go click on that, um, but love this setup. And now got the roof rack up there mounted with some accessories and whatnot i'll be sending the lights off to teq customs this week so update on that later uh, in queue for descent off-road front and rear bumpers so this thing will be pretty kitted out before too long so i just kind of wanted to give you some some updates as i went along uh but man this rack this is a lucid did this wrap satin java brown Ooh, i love it anyway in the back i'm toying with some stuff i did a third row everyone was talking about how hard it was to take out the third row in the lx5 it's super easy in five minutes maybe uh four bolts one uh wire to unclip granted you don't get a super polished look back here so underneath you kind of see some stuff but I have this cool little uh, kind of dog cargo mat here. I'm gonna try and get Maple back in the habit of going for car rides. So I threw this in to give the dogs maximum room. Maybe I'm kind of debating building a super minimal, very minimal, so easy to pull, easy to put in and pull out. Uh, kind of a drawer system, but more just like a platform so that way I can fold these seats down and have a sleeping platform here if I want to. Uh, I'm going to be experimenting this weekend actually taking the whole family out for well actually just the dogs Ashley and Cooper out for a little camping trip. We're going to do a ground tent set up a free spirit uh, hub tent actually so we'll see how that goes. Let me close her up here but kind of like I talked about in the Tundra video if you watch that I'm working on getting this thing dialed. We actually have it up to Garmin power switch. So through that app, I can control this through a CarPlay screen or through, uh, you can see clicking on there. And then we got these up top integrated lights in here so I can do the white or I can do the amber or both, pretty, Slick. Anyway, working on getting this thing dialed. I may do a super minimal dual battery setup, uh, radios, connections, stuff like that. That was a big intro to say that the SUV will be kind of when I'm taking dogs and everyone out camping or again, when I'm just rolling deep with the family, going to the pumpkin patch or whatever. That's kind of the plan. So it's got a nice roomy second row. I did get this vehicle so we could have a third row as well. And the third row, I don't know, I may throw, throw back in there. But we don't often need a third row. So it's probably going to go in kind of situationally. But the thing is, once you throw two dogs in the back, one of my dogs is 100 pounds also. So he's like pretty decent sized dog that eats into a lot of your storage. So once we're going out, especially we may have like two car seats and another kiddo would we'll be rolling five people deep and two dogs, that eats into storage a lot. Now the plan again is descent, off-road, dual swing outs where I can put some stuff on there and I have my spare tire underneath. So like I'll have a little bit of storage, but what I've wanted to do for a while, ever since I got this, was mount this Pelican, uh, I believe it's the V800 vault, double rifle case up on top 
to take all of my gear. Actually, let me just show you right now. I filmed this little bit. All right, it's snowing outside, so I kicked Ashley's Rav <laughs> into the driveway and took over uh, her spot in the garage because I just got this rack back today. I'm probably inserting this video in the middle of a different video, but I'm basically, all of this stuff I had, uh, this is in a Vertex bag, one of the VTAC-like vehicle bags that are stackable. So this zips up this little mechanism. You can stack other bags. There's a bunch of different sizes. This is the large, this is the extra large actually. Uh, and this fits perfectly behind the third row. So when the third row is folded down, this little spot back here, this fit back there nicely. And this is where I kept a bunch of stuff, actually a couple medical kits, Dark Angel, uh, tire repair, miscellaneous tools, fire extinguisher, spare boots, toe strap, all kinds of junk. And then back here also is my get home bag. Did a whole video on this, I'll link it up in the top corner. If you're curious, but this is all kind of prepared daily driver mindset stuff. So in order to clear up the maximum amount of space back here, SUVs aren't great for storage, right? Like a, a Tundra, for example. All of this stuff actually just fits under my back seat. And then some other stuff fits in the Diamondback in the cross bin. So I have everything without really digging into usable space. But if we're loading up a bunch of gear or I gotta use the third row to transport people and some stuff, this was taking up you know, a decent chunk of the rear storage space. So I wanna get that all out so it's all empty in here. And my solution for that was this Pelican vault case. I'll get more into the mounting and stuff if I haven't already before this video. Uh, we got the max tracks up there and everything. But anyway, I think that everything from this bin to include boots and everything and my bag should all fit up there. So let's see if it does. To pad the bottom and kind of keep it uh, from sliding around too much, I just got some of this little kind of drawer liner stuff. Obviously super thin, so it doesn't really eat into the storage capacity of the bin. Uh, and not really padding things. I'm not putting anything fragile in here. I'm not storing my, my wine or whiskey up in this box. So just to dampen, you know, so things aren't rattling around and whatnot. And this is the perfect, literal perfect width. So I just had to trim the end and that's it. I'll link it below. And then I forgot to show once it was actually all up in here. So let me know your thoughts actually. So, sorry, getting ahead of myself. This is a prototype design, the one and only of its kind where it's the up top Zulu rack, but with the more kind of lower profile, little bit of a lip there. I like this design much better than the current. A lot of people like the current. It's a little more angled, looks a little more like kind of a crown up there. I like this low profile. I mean, I think it looks incredible. So this roof rack, we're kind of kicking around. I'm, I'm much more heavily involved with this company on some like prototyping and feedback and design. So let me know your feedback down below and I'm giving them a bunch of feedback and we'll probably launch some new products. But I kind of want, <laughs> This is maybe a little bit goofy. I kind of want a way to get from tire another step and get fully up onto the roof rack. So I know they make these like molly panels over here and some like the new defenders and whatnot have like a ladder attachment over here. I kind of want a roof rack mounted really minimal, just like two or three step ladder. So I can go from basically, I got the Crocs on baby. Here, second foot. These actually have been coming in clutch. Second foot up to here, and then, you know, I can get up here and access everything, but it would be cool to just be able to step up again and get fully on when I'm tying stuff down. So, sorry, little interruption to show you what we got in the vault. 
So I was able to clear up all the storage inside, have nothing in there and have everything up here. So everything that I previously had inside, get home bag, another med kit, tire repair kit, uh, tire inflator, a uh, little bit of recovery gear, jump starter, emergency, um, kid carrier, boots, boots filled with socks and gaiters and gloves, couple tie down straps. And then this whole vertex, which I left this thing on here, it's the large v vertex stackable fits in here really nicely. This thing is actually empty. So this is an empty bag in here. Did line it with that. This is an empty bag. So I still have this much more storage space to conditionally put more stuff in. I put this bag in here just as kind of a placeholder because it fills up that volume pretty much perfectly. So if we were going out on a trip and I needed to load up some specific gear on that trip, I could throw it in this bag and I know that it's gonna fit into this case. So I'm kind of maximizing this case's volume and it's not even, most of this stuff is, you know, a little bit above, but I would still technically have quite a bit of room in the top portion of this case. So I don't know if they sell like Molly panels or anything. I don't know that I'll add anything, but this is, this case is not even full. So you can fit a tremendous amount. I get questions. I used to put roof boxes on top and that was kind of more for aesthetics and just in case, but this is a fully, fully functional filled up thing. None of this stuff is super heavy, so not raising the center of gravity that much, you know, not a bunch of really beefy, heavy things in here, but man, cleared up a bunch of room in the vehicle, which I absolutely love. Now I also have a place to mount Max tracks, so up top sells little Max tracks mounts. I mounted those wide ways, obviously, to just kind of fill up the space. I still have some more room here. I have a little bit of room here. This, when it opens, comes to about here, it comes to about the back of that awning. So we got crossbars along the whole way. Now, I could run a separate, another box, but I don't have a bunch of dedicated stuff that I'm planning to put in that box. So the beauty of the rack system, again, I talked about this with the Tacoma. I was kind of meh so-so on the handles. I still think I like the aesthetics of no handles, but let me tell you, I've actually been loving the handles. I'm, I'm kind of ashamed to admit it but I've been up and down on this rack a lot, more so than any other rack that I've had because I'm really trying to utilize the space and get it dialed in. I'm using them a lot, let me tell you. I'm using them a lot. And then so these little mounts you can see are just kind of angled down and they just provide really nice lighting, kind of scene camp lighting at night. I guess I'll go ahead and show you this side as well. This is a new Free Spirit 180 awning. Um, I'm not going to take it out now because I actually got to leave here in a second, but I'm taking this out camping. I may, I may have already uploaded the camping video. I'm not sure. So I'll, I'll open everything up and kind of get a whole camping setup dialed in like this. But if you're wondering, this is how the awning looks. Now it's a little bit high. I may lower it down a little bit. I'm working with up top. They have some quick detach awning brackets right now that aren't, they're compatible with a lot of awnings, but not this one. So we're working on kind of an update to that or a second QD option to where I'll be able to quickly mount and unmount this awning as well. What I was getting at is I didn't mount two rifle cases. You know, maybe I will eventually, but the rack is gonna be used for racking. It's gonna be used for rack things. So. I can put either weatherproof storage bags up here. I could put tents, I could put chairs, I could put all kinds of stuff. So I'll be adding some kind of tie down points. Obviously I can tie down into any of this stuff along the side of the rack, but I'm gonna put some mid tie down kind of eyelets here that I don't have installed yet. So I can basically strap stuff down. So I'll be able to strap stuff in this void and it'll just kind of tuck in there really nicely. And then if I need more, obviously I can strap stuff on top of this long case, strap it down nicely. So 
This rack is definitely not just for show. I'm gonna be having so much stuff up on this rack, especially with the family adventures. So I wanted to show you a real quick kind of sample roof rack loadout. I'm just getting back from a little camping trip. So Pelican case with the stuff I normally mentioned in there. And then I actually have two Helinox, well one Helinox and one generic Helinox chairs up in there. Probably have room for three plus all the other stuff I had in there. And then what I'm doing is I'm using a single perfect bungee here with a few of these are kind of up tops, tie down points that they sell that you can hook up anywhere on the bars. I have a couple here, here, and a few places throughout. Now I just hook the rope in through here since I wouldn't be able to feed the hook through this. And then up top, I have a big waterproof duffel bag. This is an Ortlieb, I believe 120 liter called the Big Zip. And then I have a ground tent that's long along here. And then a little compression sack for a sleeping bag, bunch of pillows and stuff in here. Plus the max tracks, I got the Free Spirit 180 awning. I was driving and I wouldn't even notice this was up here, honestly, if I didn't know it was up here. And like no noise, doesn't drive any different, anything like that, which is kind of surprising. You would think that it would give a lot, of, a lot of noise. But anyway, just make sure it's secure on there. Obviously, I have these running through the straps, actually, so this really couldn't go anywhere. This one also running through the strap here. Now that's just single point across there and it's still very secure. So I just wanted to kind of show you a sample loadout, obviously rooftop tent, whatever could go up here, but kind of with my setup, Max Tracks on in case, this is how I have it loaded out when I have a lot of other stuff in the interior. I think it, lo I think it looks awesome. Like I liked the look of the truck with no rack. Like I thought it was pretty cool. I was like, oh, I'm gonna kind of miss this, but man, once their rack is up there, I thought the box might be a little much, like may make it a little too tall and goofy looking, a little too overland for me, but I love it. I, I love it. Um, I didn't touch on it, I actually forgot. This is, I'm using Pelican's new mounts they just came out with that are uh, funny. I don't really work with the development team much over there, but these brackets were something that I was actually gonna make myself. I wanted to just use these handles as a mounting location. So this is a new Pelican product that works with, I think they have a few options depending on the case you have, but it just uses the handles. The handles are obviously super robust, made to carry the full weight of the case and it latches the handles down. So you have this on the front and the rear, pulling these handles down. It's the most low pro profile it will be. The case is literally resting on the bars. So you can't get a more low mount than these for the Pelican cases. And it really is the slickest solution to mounting a Pelican case, especially this is the one I like the most. This is the, the V800, the Vol V800 is probably the best mix of uh, usable interior space without adding too much height. There's a Pelican Air that's pretty good. All the double rifle cases are pretty good. There's a Pelican Air that's a little thicker, so if you need a little bit more room, it's a little bigger in general that might be the option. And then their protector cases are a little bit thinner. So this was kind of the sweet spot for me. And then if you have a smaller rack, obviously they have this in different sizes. They actually just released this in OD, I think yellow and gray. So there's like a few color options of, of these cases, obviously lockable, weatherproof. So anyway, the new mounts I'm utilizing and they're just very clean, very minimal, super easy to install and just keep the whole setup secure. And you know, this isn't tugging on, shaking the whole car. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not making any noise. No noise, no rattling, just really, really tight on there. So that is a super, super slick setup. Beautiful thing. This is kind of how I envisioned this rack system going. Just a bunch of extra room up there. So uh, if you wanna follow this build, I'll be doing a lot of problem solving with storage, full family, two dog, adventure, travel, 
power, water, cooking, all of that stuff. So with the bumper, with the roof rack, hopefully I have enough. There's a chance, you know, maybe. I haven't gotten into the world of trailers yet. I've just never really been a fan of trailers, honestly, because I've never needed them. I'm a pretty minimal camper, especially when it was just Ashley and myself we could just do everything and i didn't need a trailer like i think it's pretty silly when like one person goes out in a vehicle and brings a trailer i'm like whoa bro what do you got to bring but the trailer need is maybe becoming more real now that i have a pretty big suv and i'm already thinking of like how can i cram all the storage in that i need um because once you get into like i could put a rooftop tent up here right um, but then I kind of kill some of the storage. So I may, you know, maybe I'll try a rooftop tent up here sometimes, but then I got to put that stuff that I have up there somewhere else, or I got to put it on the rooftop tent racks, which is really getting pretty tall, which isn't the end of the world, but I'm kind of, this vehicle is a platform that I'm exploring other options for. So maybe one of those options is a little trailer for like when I'm going full, full gear camping. I have other families that camp that they don't have like as off-road capable vehicles. So this will kind of be, you know, probably the vehicle that we're taking to little like campgrounds with friends that just have Walmart tents or whatever, but also one that'll take me up to some, some higher passes and really get out there on some adventures. So that's kind of the build plan and maybe, before a trailer, but after the swing outs, I'll get like one of those hitch box holders. I'm not sure what the best option would be, but you know, to, to put a couple more cases back in there. I think the descent bumper that I have is it's a dual swing out and I'll have some stuff mounted on this side or I forget which side I'm going with. But I think one is going to be big enough. It's going to be sized right to where I can put my Pelican uh, Adventure Case, the T, I forget, TX80, I believe it's called, that I have built out for the Tacoma. That's like all my camping stuff that I need in one bin. And just pull that, that out of the Tacoma, plop it right here, and then I'll have kind of all of my camping needs mounted on the back. But man, I'm, I'm super excited about this build how it's coming together, the function of it, the looks of it. <sighs> I'm gonna be hard pressed, not once I got bumpers on here, not to lift it a little more and put like 35s or 37s. Right now, again, 34 inch tires on here. And I think it looks very clean for its stage, but I don't know. Once I got bumpers on it, I may wanna go full, full beast mode on this thing. We'll see, but loving this, loving, loving, loving this setup. Anyway, was in the mood to kind of give you some rig updates today and the rack update, that thing is just sick. It's, it's so good. I'll link, to, I'll link to all this stuff as I always do down in the video description below. I forgot, I gotta go. So I gotta end this video. Appreciate you watching. Always appreciate the thumbs up. Always appreciate the comments down below. Subscribes, appreciate you sharing uh, my videos with your friends or family or yourself. You know, just hit that share button, copy the link and do what you want with it. Apparently that helps because yeah, YouTube's been weird lately. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Until next time, guys, take care.